How are you doing today? How are you? I'm doing good. Um, can I get, let's see. I want to try the traditional deal here. Um, how about one of the $5, $5 value box meals? Which one? Can I get um, the two-piece drum and thigh? Okay, original. Can I like have half and half? Yep. Let's do half and half, please. Okay, what's the drink? Uh, ooh, I don't want to have soda. Do you have sweet tea? I actually do not have any tea. What What are the options? Um, I have lemonade. Lemonade? I guess it's lemonade. Oh, strawberry lemonade would be rad. Okay. And then, um, I want to try, of course, the Slap Yo Mama uh, mashed potatoes and gravy and the mac and cheese. Can I have a little serving of both of those? And then I guess I want to try one more thing, something new that I haven't had, something small, like off the dollar menu. Do you have like a little bit of a dollar menu? Uh, no, we have chicken littles that are like two dollars. Oh, I see those right there. Those little chicken littles. Uh -huh. What? What? Let's do uh, the Nashville hot, spicy, smoky, and crispy. Okay. And that's it. All right, I'll have your total out the window. Thank you. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Back at it back at it share this video in groups y'all tomorrow i'm gonna give away day seven 12 week ridiculously authentic meal plan and a what what onesie she doesn't seem too motivated today hello shannon in the comment section you all let me know what your favorite kfc order is i just got the traditional stuff but they let me switch the original and crispy and then I got one of these little, little sandwiches. And then, of course, I got the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And uh, the mac and cheese. I don't think they have any sauces, though. I don't think they're known for sauces. So, did you all know that KFC is originally from Louisville, Kentucky, I believe? Um, and it's like 70 years old. 1334. They are... Hi, Manaka. Thank you. Ooh, happy Thank you. Hi, Shiana. Thank you. I think it's been maybe four years since I've had KFC. <laughs> Telling y'all, this gets very, very exciting for all the wrong reasons. I didn't get a biscuit. I gotta get a biscuit, huh, Don? I gotta get a biscuit. A biscuit and honey. Ooh. I, got, I gotta get a biscuit. Gotta give me a biscuit. Can I get, can I get a biscuit with some honey? Yeah, there's a biscuit in there. Oh, what, what? There's already a biscuit in there. Hi, Cindy. Come on, y'all, share this in. Um, obesity groups, diabetes groups, addiction groups, um, cancer groups. Thank you so much. Wow, that is a lot of yummy nastiness, and I'm gonna eat all of it. I didn't feel too bad this morning, y'all, because I didn't eat all that much. Of course, I can't work out because eating this stuff pretty much is a workout. I didn't work out, just kind of uh, kind of chilled, worked. I finished a client logo. I nailed it on the first mock. Um, I got this brand new client who owns um, a, a helicopter aviation school and I'm doing all their branding um, and I did all their logo and they loved it. So I was very, very, um, very, very happy about that. All right, y'all, so let's see if I can find a place where we can play. So we can play. You gotta play all day, every day. All right, so this is day seven. Day seven, y'all. I'm. It's so bad because I'm just going with my what, with what my body wants, and my body wants more yummy nastiness. Even though my product productivity is down, my energy is way down. Um, the worst thing is this heartburn. I I've put on about I think six pounds, um, 
you know, just the energy. And I did drop a small little mini deuce today, but they look like little pebbles. So, I mean, not being able to drop a deuce is not rad. And again, just the addictive, the wanting it more, the want to get more, the addiction of saying, I want more yummy nastiness. And, you know, it's pricier, way pricier than go to your lo lo local farmer's market, y'all. All right, so here we go. Let's park right here. Hiya! Okay, oh, that's a little bit of sun. A little bit of sun. Let me, let me back it up. Back it on up. Hiya! How's this? Is this good? I'm all over the place, y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna do one of these. You remember when you first learned how to parallel park, you were terrified, right? I didn't get my license until I was 18 years old. And it was in Santa Barbara. And I took it like seven times because I'm not a test taker. All right, y'all, here we go. Now, I am not eating the biscuit first. Remember, I messed up at, uh, where was I? At, uh, whoa, it was Dairy Queen. I think it was Dairy Queen and I ate the toast. It was really not a smart thing because it filled me up. All right, here we go. Fun time, let me plug it in, plug it in. Hi, Hi Heather. Hello, Carl. Congratulations, Carl, on winning the 12-week meal plan. What, what? Here we go. Ah! What's up, y'all? Tiggy here. Look. Look, look. You can eat yummy nastiness and still harvest self-love, and you can have rainbow hair, y'all. And no, this is not a wig. Yeah! Here we go. KFC stands for, for Kentucky Fried Chicken, and this is hot. Okay, okay. I'm kind of impressed with the branding here. KFC, KFC, well, I say Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's got these four little logos. Raised on U.S. farms. No artificial hormones or steroids. Okay. USDA inspected and high quality chicken. I think we all still know what the farming factory farming factory chicken is, you know. I mean it's it's basically inhumane. For, and freshly prepared cooks. Look at and this is hot to trot, y'all. Look, I think his name is Colonel Sanders. Remember, right now, share this in fast food humor groups. More than anything, if you're not in any groups, join my group, join our group. It's called Ridiculously Authentic. Introduce yourself. Tell us your story. Tell us if you have, you know, anxiety. Tell us you if you have depression. Share it in vegan groups, 80-10-10 groups, keto groups, keto groups, Weight Watchers groups. The biscuit came in the box. <sighs> this is already making my hands greasy, and this is gonna be a lot of food. I gotta get me some. I gotta get me some. This is. This is all, this is all the, uh, the, the, the what, what wipes they gave me. I'm just gonna dig right into this. This right here, ooh, it's really, really hot. Look at this. Super crispy, crispy, and it kinda looks like the commercial, right? I'm actually kind of impressed with the quality because it's super, super hot, and it smells, if you're into fast food, aka yummy nastiness, it smells pretty good. Mm. Mm hmm. Really, really greasy, of course. Unbelievable. Once you start eating this yummy nastiness, how much you want it. Like I said, if I wasn't doing the yummy nastiness Torah, I already had my smoothie. I would have added my smoothie, maybe a cantaloupe, some dates and almond butter some avocados, lots of water, coconuts. Instead, we get hooked on this stuff. Don, thanks for reminding me about the biscuit and honey. Very, very good. Now, there is a church's chicken. What do y'all think about church's chicken? Everybody says that it's just as good as KFC.
Now, do y'all like drums or thighs? Because the legs or drums are easier to eat. And did you know, look, all this fast food, right? When you're in like, you know, a poorer neighborhood, you know, the less fortunate, they've all got a liquor store. They've all got a chicken store. They've all got a check cashing store. It's just rampant, y'all, you know, so you can numb yourself with this food, you know, and then you got to go to a check cash place. They probably take like 15% of your check, right? And then you've got the tobacco and the alcohol, and it's just one cray cray circle, right? It's like, if you don't know any better, if you live in the ghetto or a poor, you know, neighborhood, you don't know any better. So you got to hustle. You got to get a side hustle. If you got to push drugs, if you got to steal, if you got to rob, whatever it is, just to, you know, you know, I mean, shoot, that's why I created Roots of Hope. So, you know, we can create gardens by school buses. So instead of trying to, you know, sell twompers or, you know, whatever, you know, get into legal activities, you can learn how to garden. Maybe that will inspire them. You know what I mean? And then they could say, hey, I want some cucumbers. I want some radishes. I want some celery. I want to grow a lemon, uh, a Meyer lemon tree. I don't want to eat this yummy nastiness. I. Ooh, this is. Mashed potatoes with slap your mama gravy and it's hot. You know, you know this was already pre-made probably five hours ago and just been sitting like in a, a conventional oven because it's that hot. And you know it's gonna burn my mouth. That's the that's one of the worst things ever. You know when you burn the roof of your mouth, like when you eat pizza? I ate pizza for the first time in almost two years, seven days ago. But that's the worst, and the rip of your mouth. And it just it like melts the top of your mouth. Oh no. Oh, so they give you these little utensils, which are probably not BPA free. And look, I've saved every wrapper, every what what sauce, everything. And the amount of trash that I am consuming and that I am buying is insanity. Look, when you eat a melon, you, you just, you could feed the rind to your dog, right? Or you throw it in your compost. All of this trash and I read that 30% of this like plastic and stuff is full of chemicals. So not only is the what, what yucky, yummy nastiness full of 60, 70, 80, sometimes 100 ingredients, the Big Mac sauce is 55 ingredients. And a lot of them are toxic. So you have the toxic food and then they wrap it in toxic wrappers. You know what I mean? How are you gonna think straight? Hey. Kind of a cool spoon or fork. Look at that little ninja, right? This is like a little ninja star. That's pretty cool. I don't know why they do that. That's pretty rad though. All right, here we go. Now I would love some salt and pepper. This is so hot. Some salt and pepper on the slap your mama gravy. Ooh, you know, you gotta lick the lid. Oh, whoa. I gotta say, I do miss these these mashed potatoes, y'all. Very, very salty. Here we go. KFC mashed potatoes. Very, very hot. Can you see the steam? The steam all up on there? This steam is gonna give me hot and steamies. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. I actually would like more gravy on this. It actually, it looks like, it looks like toxic caca water. Hey, if you're, if you're in, if you're deep, if you're deep, like so deep, I want to put that butt to sleep, that deep and yummy nastiness, this is beyond yummy. Mm, I want some pepper up on here. Y'all want one? You want one bite? Burn my mouth. Here we go. What, what? You know, when I was in the Navy and I had to get out the flight deck, and, I, and four days after 9-11, y'all, 
I went out on the North Arabian Sea on the JFK 1967 aircraft carrier and I knew nothing and it was the most dangerous job in the world and I was on the flight deck launching all these F-14s with the missiles and all this stuff it was cray cray right I was like I gotta get off this flight deck and I'm horrible at test taking so they said look if you take the test and just mark C all the way down you'll pass the MS test which is like a chef so I literally just took the test and I went C C C C and I passed and I made E4 y'all and then I went down to the kitchen and whoa I had to cook for 5,000 men and women sailors three times a day. And I had to cook these french fries and literally it was powder in a bag. And you put water in it and it made these little ninja fries and you dipped them. The food there was so disgusting. And then they put uh, Peter salt. You know, like when you're in boot camp, they put Peter salt in there so men don't get erections and stuff. And then they shot me through all these vaccines. It was crazy, y'all. But you're like... I mean, you're, you're, you're owned by the government. In a lot of ways, even if you don't serve, we're all st still kind of owned by the government. Unless you're levitating and meditating underneath the coconut tree. Oh, good. These are, these are cooling off a little bit. I think... You know what? I'll just eat them all. <clears throat> Y'all with long hair, <clears throat> that's a lot of maintenance. <clears throat> Constantly going like this. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing, Aaron. I appreciate you, y'all. If y'all have been following me, you know I'm not promoting, uh, you know, yummy nastiness. I'm literally just doing an experiment for myself so I can speak about my journey and hopefully I can drop a little bit of knowledge, make you pee a little bit, make you laugh a little bit. Maybe you say, hey, I'm not gonna go to Starbucks four times a week, maybe three times a week. And then whatever you wanna do, whatever works good for you. If you drink 10 cafe lattes and it makes you meditate and levitate into the banana splits and you're pissing glitter and smelling like peaches, well then go on with your bad self. No judgment here. Hiya! Oh, I probably need that for the mac and cheese. <laughs> but you know you gotta you gotta get all up in there. Ooh. Mm, mm. For some reason, Food tastes better when it's off your digit. Very, very good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this whole chicken thigh right here. Look at this. Now, this is a little bit more difficult to eat, right? Than the drumstick, just because you gotta get up in there. Look how big that breast is, or thigh. Look how jumbo this is, right? Because they, they say hormone free, but I mean, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You have no idea where any of this stuff comes from. Mmm. This one's different. This one's better. I think this one's the original. Do y'all like my boom shirt? What, what? Look, it says boom. Boom! Heather said, I used to mix coleslaw and mashed potatoes. I remember the coleslaw at KFC, it was super watery. You used to mix both of them? Well, I am on this tour, I should have totally tried that. I'm down to try it. Mmm. Mmm. Look, right? Now, <clears throat> when I was raw and eating super healthy, you don't crave this. As a matter of fact, it would turn me off. Every time I would see like a, a yummy nastiness place, it would just turn me off. And you don't even think about it. Once you get past that, you do not even think about it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, come on. If you're eating yummy nastiness, the oil's on this. Whoa. That has some extra seasoning on it. Kelly says, I used to dip my chicken in the mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, how is Church's chicken going to be better than this? Eh. I get it.
this was five bucks. Just this and the little thing. They got it set up where unless you go like buy bulk, you know, and even if you go buy from your farmer, it's gonna be way expensive. They got it down. You know, to eat yummy nastiness, you know, sometimes it's cheap, you know, sometimes it's expensive. It all just depends on what you got going on. Wow. It's not that heavy though. Like the burgers and the burritos are like gut bombs. That doesn't feel all that heavy. Let me get the biscuit. What? It flew out of my hand. <laughs> Y'all have seen that movie? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. When they ditch school and they take his dad's car and they're out in his garage and his friend, they're trying to roll back the mileage so they don't get busted, and his friend puts his foot on the car, <laughs> and the car flies out of the garage. <laughs> Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I used to ditch all day, every day. All right, oh, I didn't get any honey. No honey. Here's the biscuit. It's a cold biscuit, though. Look at that. Look at the flakiness. Now, I guarantee you this has probably at least 50 ingredients. It's kind of dry. Oh, it's just the buttery in the middle. It's got butter in the middle. And I can see why you like honey. I have so many sauces. I might have honey in here. Maybe. I try the Chick-fil-A Zesty Buffalo on the biscuit. Take a chance. Columbus did. Ah! Oh, yes. I wasn't even planning on using this. Look at that, some buffalo sauce. You ever seen that barbecue sauce? Oh, uh, you know, the more you eat this, the more the sauces taste better and better and better. When I first started this on day one, they were super vinegary and very salty. They're not nearly as powerful now. We're gonna use it as a little dip dip, right? Ooh. Ooh, let it linger. So what do y'all got going on today? I want to know. All right. If you have watched all the yummy nastiness videos, have you or have you not eaten any yummy nastiness? I really, really want to know the answer to that. In the last seven days, who is eating yummy nastiness? Put it in the comment section. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. They got like some extra butter up in this biscuit. Good job, Kelly. Carl, how many cigarettes? You've been smoking for the last 17 months since I met you. Are you at least down to maybe like a pack if you're smoking two? Good job, Darcy. Darcy says no. Good job, Carla. Carla says no. Now you know once you once you open one of these, you gotta you gotta finger it because you're just wasted. And there's nowhere to put it. You know what I'm saying? With the what what ketchups from Chick Fil A, you could put the little lid back on. But here, you gotta eat it all. Heather says, unfortunately, I have. She had Mickey D's breakfast today. You did, and you've been watching all my videos. What'd you have? Did you have a sausage McGriddle? Ashley says, I work yummy nastiness. That means you work at yummy nasty. You work at a fast food. Had a sausage and bacon croissant with tomatoes today. 
Tara! Tara said she had a barbecue sandwich with coleslaw halfway through and I immediately regretted it. That right? Right? Because your tummy wants it. Your brain wants it. But realistically, your body does not want it. Kelly says I'm boycotting all fast food places. Boom! What, what? Carla says, I'm living through you. Ha ha. Boom. Don't live through me. Live through yourself and just open your eyes. So I'm going to Dr. Robert Morris's detoxification class for four days. I think it's uh, March, April, April 28th to April, May 3rd or something like that. And I'm going to take you all with me. I'm going to, hopefully I learn a lot. Um, you know, I don't think this is going to go on much longer, maybe three, four days. And after that, back to it. Y'all be seeing me do the 14 day reset. Then I'll ninja flip into a 12 week meal plan and just get, just start glowing again. And I mean, the energy through the roof. I seriously think I might grow wings and just fly. Aaron says Panera has good bagels and cream cheese. I just love cream cheese. I used to really love bagels. Throw that in the toaster with some cream cheese. I haven't had any cream cheese yet. All right. I haven't even tried my lemonade yet. And I got strawberry lemonade. I haven't had any strawberry lemonade. Remember the first two days? I had lemon water. And then I broke it with sweet tea. And then I had lemonade. And this, and then I had OJ at Mickey D's. Now this is a strawberry lemonade. Probably at least 40 grams of sugar. It's probably gonna take like a, like a little liquid Jolly Rancher. Wow, actually a lot softer. Wow, uh, wow. That tastes like straight caca. That does not taste good. All right. Sandwich. And then I'll let you go. And then I'm done. Oh, I still got mac and cheese though. Or no, yeah, mac and cheese. And this is probably going to be the best. I have not had. Now, there's a lot of raw mac and cheese, y'all. Macadamia nut cheeses you can make. There's a lot of healthy, healthier alternatives than this, you know, yummy nastiness. Check out this little, I don't know what it was. It's called a, it's called a, it's called a Nashville hot Georgia gold. And look at this wrapper. Look at this wrapper. Would you rather want a watermelon rind, a cantaloupe rind, a banana peel, an avocado peel, rather than this chemical infested aluminum wrapper around your food? I know I would, but not today. <laughs> this is way worth two bucks if you're into the yummy nastiness. Look at this thingamajig. Look at this love what what action. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And this is like super spicy hot. And it's a big bun. Look at all that gluten. It's probably 30 ingredients in the bun. It's really dry, but I got lots of sauces. I haven't got a Dairy Queen sauce that I can use. Or, shut the front door! I got Chick-fil-A, garlic and herb ranch, and I'm gonna put it on this dry sandwich. What, what? And I'm saving all of these wrappers, and I'm gonna make a recipe book for all of you and I'm gonna make optimal, optimal, yummy nastiness recipes. This tastes funky. There's something in here that tastes kind of funky. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Now remember, tomorrow, I'm gonna choose the winner. So make sure you share this. Now, from what I remember, 
the Chick-fil-A Ranch, if you're in, if you're in the yummy nastiness, uh, you know, dark side, you know, I tried just their ranch and it was really, really good. I have not tried the garlic one yet, but the ranch was good. It's, it's really thick. The best uh, watery ranch was from uh, Burger King. Oh, and this is not this is not carrot ranch. This is a little thick, thick. What what? It's got some jiggle to it. Yeah. See. Um. Whoa. This tastes like a, oh yeah, I forgot. It's got garlic and herb in it. I was gonna say, it's like a little bit of a watered down tata sauce. It's like a tata sauce, but not a lot of relish. I love you too, Cheryl. This is good. It'd be a little bit better if it was a little bit more chilled, but this little thingamajig here definitely needs some wetness, needs some lube. Let's throw this little bit of a, uh, this, this, uh, garlic and herb ranch up on here. Give you a little love thumb action, whoa, whoa. Mmm, what? Come on. Mmm, oh yeah, that hits the spot, y'all. You gotta get the Chick-fil-A garlic and herb ranch. And then you flip it onto this. Cause it's like grease lightning. Tell me more, tell me more. Like did he have a car? Du -du, du -du, du. Ooh, I gotta show you this little pickle that's on here. Check out this little pickle just popping out. See it just popping? Pop it like it's hot. Mm. Mm. Do you know Chick-fil-A? They give me extra pickle. Because I learned from you all that if you order with extra pickle or pickle on the side, they make it fresh for you. And they had like employees on the curb. I got my food like in 69 Bitcoin seconds. And they give you a pickle bowl. They gave me like six pickles on the side in a pickle bowl. And you know you love pickle juice, so I was like, <laughs> just drinking that juice. No! <laughs> Now I could dippy dippy. And you gotta pop that pinky. If you are on the dark side and you're eating yummy nastiness, you have to promise me. If you're eating yummy nastiness, uh oh, spaghettios. Hi bye. Uh, if you're eating yummy nastiness, you gotta pop that pinky for dippy dippy like this. Hey! Wah! Then you can dip. If you don't pop the pinky, you can't dip. Mmm. I still got my mac and cheese left. This turned this sandwich way better. Way better. Mmm. This made the sandwich. Look, if you're eating yummy nastiness, here's a quick tip. Save your sauces. You could actually turn yourself into a sauce boss. And I'm remaking all of these sauces. And I'm gonna make a recipe book. In fact, I might call it the Rad Sauce Boss. Oh! Oh! Whoa, oh, look at it! There's a, cow, a cop or a cab looking at me right now. I ain't scared. Back in the day, I'd be scared. He's probably scared of my self-love. I might fake, make him feel a little bit uncomfortable. I'll still make him smile. Because look, when you know that you're authentic, you're real, you don't even have any little fibs going on, you ain't lying, lying, you know, you ain't lying like a rug, and you know you're good, you can seriously be yourself. Like, it don't matter. You can grow rainbow hair, and you're not afraid of being yourself because nobody can hold anything against you, and you know you're not guilty, right? <laughs> Freedom!
Now the best, you know I mean, nastiness mac and cheese that's not like at fast food is the Big Velveeta box, right? It's not optimal, but it's like four bucks. Maybe it's like six bucks now. It'd get the real Velveeta. But Annie's is pretty optimal. But in my opinion, anything that's in a box like that. Uh, uh, okay. Let me drink this not yummy strawberry lemonade. Tastes like diluted koala piss. I don't know how people could drink that. Okay. Finale. <sighs> the mac and cheese! It's so hot, it's sweating. Is it hot in her? Is it hot in her? Is it hot in her? And I threw my ninja, my ninja fork! Maybe I'll just eat it with my mouth. Yeah. Some hashtag mouth pleasure. What, what? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's quite lovely. I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> it needs more salt. It's happening! My taste buds are caca! Oh. I got another fort. My daughter would be like, hashtag dramatic. I'm like, okay, Jordan, I learned it from you, sweetie. yourself. Kiss yourself slowly. If you feel like you gotta touch your downstairs mix up, that's okay too. What, what? No more whispering! Mm. I need more salt. Where's the salt, boss? That's crazy how my my taste buds have gone. Hello. How my taste buds have gone to caca. If I would have had this on day one, I'd be like, wow, this is too salty. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. I am out of here. Should I go to another yummy nastiness? Should I go to Culver's? I haven't been to Culver's yet. I think I'll, I'll call it a day. I already did it twice. Oh, I thought I had another piece of chicken. All right, I love you. Don't beat yourself up if you had set fast food, okay? All right? Don't beat yourself up. Be kind and be gentle, all right? Be gentle with yourself, all right? Everything's okay. Hopefully you didn't use the weekend to give up on your goals, okay? It is a new week. 
It is your week to sparkle! What, what? Ah! Love you! <laughs>